Ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording this interview with Davey Richards just days before he's set to leave the country for a tour of Japan for New Japan Pro Wrestling, one of the oldest and largest wrestling promotions in the country of Japan. Uh, Davey, you've been to Japan 10 times now. This is the third time with New Japan, and, and it's a very lucrative and important tour. Obviously, we wanted you as one of Ring of Honor's top stars to be at uh, Glory by Honor live in New York City, but when this opportunity came up for you, knowing how you appreciate the Japanese wrestling style, we were able to facilitate you being involved in this. But at this point, we wanted to address for our pay-per-view viewers and also for the uh, Ring of Honor fans in general, the comments that you made earlier this summer. You stated to the media that you intended to retire from professional wrestling at the end of this year. Now, I know you've got a lot on your plate. People may or may not know that you're also, you're a licensed firefighter. You're a trained paramedic. You study a variety of combat sports and mixed martial arts influences like jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai. Um, with all that on your plate, is it a matter of wrestling was not the priority or what are your feelings on retirement at this point? Do you still intend to leave the professional wrestling game at the end of 2010? I'm putting you on the spot, right? No, it just invokes a lot of emotion. Um, I think I look at wrestling different than most people because it was never a hobby or something to do or a way to get out of the small town or a way to gain attention. I'm very connected to wrestling um, in ways that I don't think I can even find words to explain to you. It's something that, you know, most of my family's dead and the family that raised me, that was our, our bond, you know. It wasn't, you know, dad playing baseball with me out back. It wasn't you know, the long car rides or fishing trips, it was wrestling, you know, watching me wrestle, watching wrestling on TV, wrestling. And wrestling's been a part of me and my life for as long as I can remember. And, but I came to St. Louis because I married a girl and I was ready to start a new life. And it's time to leave that life behind. It's time to get off the road, you know. People who know my background know that I've done some crazy things for wrestling, you know. I went, I went and lived in Japan right after I got married. My grandmother died and I flew home to the funeral and flew right back to Japan. I've consumed my life with wrestling because it's part of me. And I met this girl and uh, it, was, it was time to change that life. It was time to find a new life. So I got an education. I found something else to channel because I'll always be a wrestler. I can't change that. You understand that. And you know, once this is in you, I, I am I am a wrestler, you know, and I found, you know, jujitsu and I fell in love with it. And you know, and I, I feel very comfortable in that one-on-one -on -one combat setting. That's that's home to me. So I need that in my life. And so I found something to kind of get my fix. But it was time to get off the road. And it was time to start this life with this woman and you know, take a turn in life. But somehow, you know, the hooks are still in wrestling and there's still that competitive desire. And I'll be honest with you, it's a tough decision, but I haven't achieved the ultimate goal because people may champ best in the world to me, but I don't have the hardware. I am not a world champion. So I, you know, made the statement that this is it. Final battle is Davy Richards' final battle. And like you said, the media, but not only the media contacted me, family and friends, and my mom called me. And uh, I've spoken a little bit about my mom, and she's a wonderful lady but she has addiction problems and to the point where she's affected mentally by it. And there's times when she's there and times when she's not there. And I'm explaining this to her and she's kind of understanding it, kind of not. And there was a long silence to where I thought the phone went dead. And she said something to me and it really just kind of took the wind out of me. And she said, son, I haven't always been there for you, but you need to understand that wrestling has. You didn't choose this, Wes. You didn't choose to be a wrestler. It chose you. And that, you know, it hit home and it made me think about a lot of things that is, is this more than just my sport? Is this more than just my hobby? Is this me? Is this what I'm meant to do? Is this my destiny? So well, I'm... So, so Davey, I've, I've got to ask you, does that mean... What does that mean for your future? Are you going to stay in professional wrestling? Are you going to leave? Have you made your decision? I'm not going anywhere. This is what I was meant to do, Jim. This is what I was put on earth to do. 
I've lost everything. My marriage, my grandparents, everything. And wrestling remained. Wrestling's still there. It's my lifeblood. It's what I wake up in the morning to do. I feel comfortable in that one-on-one -on -one environment, the same way I did when I was 12 years old. I am a wrestler. I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be part of this company that puts on the best wrestling in the world. It's time for me, Jim, to take my place at the top of the mountain here. This is my time, Jim. I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere until I win the belt. I need the hardware. I need to be a world champion, even if it's just one more time. Otherwise, this whole ride, this 15 years of my life, you know, the surgeries, the deaths, the failed relationships, the traveling, the homesickness, it's all for nothing, Jim, you know? This is me, this is not a character I play. I say it every time I come on here, I don't play a character. This is here, this is right here, and I can't get that out of my blood. I don't want it out of my blood. I'm going to Japan, I'm coming back, I'm going to Canada. I'm going all over the world to find the best, to be the best, and I will be a world champion again. Davey Richards, thank you very much. And we're gonna enjoy seeing you the rest of 2010, 2011, a driven individual who wants to be the best in the world.